So sometimes you have a tool that still works good, like I have this pole saw that I've had for several years and it, and it works really well, uh, lemon trees. But unfortunately it's got these older not cab batteries that, and I have two. So they've been a, a constant problem. So I have replaced the packs more than once. I think it's just time, since I really can't find an adapter, I can either make an adapter, or I'm just gonna make a 20 volt pack for it. So I'm gonna take one of these as an experiment. We'll make a 20 volt, just make it a lithium ion pack with some 18650 cells that I already have, and we'll see how it works. So back now with the old 18 volt NICAD, it's definitely dead. If you try to charge it up, I think this one actually gives a fault, but if it did charge up some, it would just slowly um, die back off. So let's open it up. Regular T10 bit, it's not security. There we go. That's the main thing we need there is the connector. I guess we could use it with a top plate. We really want to. We could just try to put our cells in here. <laughs> Had a spacer plate in it. So back now I, I temporarily have my spot welder series capacitors charging up. The way I got these, I don't have a balancing circuit, but the way I get a around that is I, I have my leads coming out for all cells for all three of the um the parallel bank of series cells it's actually a 2p3s configuration so i can actually charge each bank individually that way i'll balance them out so these 18650 cells are some i had uh, saved over time and they're all holding uh, four to 4.2 volts i'm going to take these that's, that's been charged probably over a year ago and I'm going to make just a 5S uh, simple battery to take the place of this NICAD pack replace it with a, a small milliamp hour lithium ion pack should be a lot better. I'm just going to put one together in a, a 5S configuration or 20 volt pack before I even put a BMS board on it and just just see how it does. So I got my spot welder uh, charged up. So I'm going to spot weld these together really quick and make a little 5S pack. And by the way, I, I do have the makings of this uh, super capacitor spot welder. If you're interested during this video, I do have a video in the making um, of this. I did put it in a case later. I mentioned that video to save time that I would add a case later. So this is just it with a diode added here for suppression across the solenoid coil. And it's just in a lightweight box. And there we go. I'm just going to keep going and put these in series and we'll be right back. So there we go. I decided to do almost like a pyramid formation there. It'll fit in the, uh, in the case very easily. So if we check it, we should have our 20 volts, 20.25 volts. So now we'll take this apart and make the connector work. Some more, some more mica material. So there we go. There's our connector. So I'll just hook this up uh, temporarily before we get our BMS and just see how it runs the tool. So back now I have just soldered on the positive and the negative lead. As a temporary test, just repurposing some of the insulating uh, mica for the battery pack here. And I'm, uh, um, I'm just going to wrap this in some Kapton tape and we'll be right back. So back now with it, with it wrapped up and insulated as a temporary measure, I actually did put the, um, the little riser plate back in there. Probably take it out if I put a BMS board in here. But for right now, 
that's going to be about the right depth. I'm just going to put a couple screws back in it and then we can test it out. Here is one of the original batteries. It won't even hold a charge at all. Just as a comparison here, we're at one pound and 14 ounces. And this is the lithium pack. Of course, I still have four of the screws out of it. And I don't have a BMS board. But we're at 14.2 ounces. So we're a pound lighter. This thing almost feels like an empty shell. I don't think I verified the voltage after I put it together, but you can see that we, we're right on 20.2425, so right on 20 volts. That's a really, really good sign. and. Next, I'll test it out on the pole saw, and it, it looks promising, and after that, we'll actually um, put a BMS, working BMS in it to protect the individual cells. So back now with the extremely lightweight uh, lithium ion pack for testing. So just that simple, we got it back totally useful. So I can use it to clean up this whole fence line that I've been uh, putting off about a year or so. So I'll end the video here. We'll make it a two-part video. If anybody's interested in the, uh, adding a BMS to this pack, we'll do so in the next video. So stay tuned if you want to see that video and watch part two. But if you like this video about taking these lithium-ion cells and just getting this Black & Decker tool back uh, fully functional again, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.